We are back live. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday, the 11th day of December, 2009 edition. I'm Alex Jones, your host. I'm going to break down the overall globalist master plan from their own words, their own statements. For the new world order, global government is only the beginning. That's what the back of my film, Endgame, says. They want you dead. For the new world order, a world government is just the beginning. Once in place, they can engage their plan to exterminate. This is official UN government plan. 80% of the world's population while enabling the elites to take advantage of the life extension technologies and the resources for themselves. For the first time, crusading filmmaker Alex Jones, that's me, reveals their secret plan for humanity's extermination, Operation Endgame. Jones chronicles the history of the global elite's bloody rise to power and reveals how they have funded dictators and financed the bloodiest wars, creating order out of chaos to pave the way for the first true world empire. Watch as Jones and his team track the elusive Bilderberg group to Ottawa and Istanbul to document their secret summits, allowing you to witness global kingpins setting the world's agenda for instigating World War III. Learn about the formation of the North American Transportation Control Grid, which will end U.S. sovereignty forever. Discover how the practitioners of the pseudoscience eugenics have taken control of governments worldwide as a means to carry out depopulation. View the progress of the coming collapse of the United States and the formation of the North American Union. Never before has a documentary assembled all the pieces of the globalist dark agenda. In games compelling look at past atrocities committed by those attempting to steer the future delivers information that the controlling media has meticulously censored for the last 60 years. It fully reveals the elite's program to dominate the earth and carry out the most wicked plan in all of human history. Endgame is not conspiracy theory. It is documented fact in the elite's own words. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that is Endgame. Endgame. Blueprint for global enslavement out for three years. Here is my latest film, Fall of the Republic. Let me read the back of this before I get into all this information. Because you need to know these films are available for you to fully detail this and have the facts. Both films, Fall of the Republic, Endgame, have fallthereplic.com, whatistheendgame.com, or endgamethemovie.com, have full bibliographies like a book online every article every video clip every quote where it was said who said it how they said it these are documents that are put together in a riveting and revealing and terrifying fashion because the information is terrifying america's last stand make the choice liberty or tyranny Fall of the Republic documents how an offshore corporate cartel is bankrupting the U.S. economy by design. Leaders are now declaring that one world government has arrived and that the dollar will be replaced with a new global currency. President Obama has brazenly violated Article 1, Section 9 of the U.S. Constitution by seating himself at the head of the United Nations Security Council, thus becoming the first U.S. president to chair the world body. A scientific dictatorship is in the final stages of completion, and laws protecting basic human rights are being abolished worldwide. An iron curtain of high-tech tyranny is now descending over the planet. A worldwide regime controlled by the unelected corporate elite is implementing a plan to set up a planetary carbon tax system that will dominate all human activity and establish a system of neo-feudal slavery. The image makers have carefully packaged Obama as the world's savior. He is the Trojan horse manufactured to pacify the people just long enough for the globalists to complete their master plan. This film reveals the architecture of the New World Order and what the power elite have in store for humanity. More importantly, it communicates how we the people can retake control of our government, turn the criminal tide, and bring the tyrants to justice. This is Fall of the Republic. Both DVDs available at InfoWars.com. You can get free T-shirts, Obama Joker shirts, Don't Tread on Me shirts when you order these films or get films free as well right now until Christmas at InfoWars.com. You can call toll-free and ask about the free T-shirts and videos when you order one of the DVDs at 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. And until Christmas, we do this every year, up almost six years now, five and a half months free when you sign up at PrisonPlanet.tv. It's five ninety five a month when you buy it month to month. When you get a year, it comes down to like right at $3. Uh, it's almost half off uh, at 
prisonplanet.tv. You sign up for a year, get five and a half months free is what the discount comes up to. You can watch the live radio show that we simulcast in living color video, not just webcams, high quality TV studio, video clips. You get to see the articles, the documents, all my films, my book, Paul Watson's book, in ebook format, thousands of pieces of media, special reports just to prisonplanet.tv viewers, like my Dave Mustaine interview of last week, David Icke, the list goes on and on, prisonplanet.tv. Take advantage of that. And also, six computers can simultaneously log on with your passcode and username that you create in about 60 seconds on prisonplanet.tv. So you can also give yourself a prisonplanet.tv membership and give the username and passcode as an e-card to several of your friends and family. Just tell them they can't share it, or then if six computers are on simultaneously, it will uh, lock you down until somebody logs off. Now, I wish I could give it to everybody free. It's just we have to fund our operation. But never fear. Though it hurts us financially, that isn't what matters. All my films are free on YouTube and Google. Google Endgame. Search the term Follow the Republic. You can watch them in decent quality online. It's not pearls before swine. I know you care about that. You will use it. You will show it to others. You will give it to your email list. You will spread the word. All that matters to me here is getting this information out, and the people are now ready to hear the truth. So that's my Christmas present of liberty and the truth to everybody. All the films are free online. Just you get them in better quality and support us when you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member or buy the DVD. And I want to thank everybody for their support. We couldn't do what we're doing here without you. So thank you so much and to the crew that also makes it all possible. Okay. Let me just in layman's terms give you a basic overview that I want to go through mainstream news in your face backing all of this up. About 150 years ago in England, the royal family publicly funded Galton, Darwin, the Huxleys, the Wedgwoods, and others, the top scientific inventors, the top scientific brains in England, pioneering eugenics, anthropology, sociology, the list goes on and on. They went to him and they said, people are rebelling against the empire worldwide. How do we set up a scientific dictatorship where the people love their own servitude? We have all these white papers. We cover them in Endgame. This is mainline history. This is on the record. And they came back and they said, we have to create social departments, Planned Parenthood. We have to create health departments that will carry out racial hygiene. And we will start taking poor people's children. We will start sterilizing them. We can start drugging the water supply to make people passive and to go along with our orders. We can put in puppet governments in the third world that we control, take down the British flag, but have covert operations that work through puppet governments and through roundtable groups. So they set up the royal commissions who then set up the Royal Institute on International Affairs, who set up the Council on Foreign Relations in the United States and other management groups that actually control the industry, banking, media, academia. And most of the people in those groups aren't aware of the full scope uh, of the operational uh, system. So you have higher level groups that control that. And they called for, through banking and through fiat currency, going in and buying off third world and first world nations leaders. And to get those countries in debt as long as they paid off the leadership. If the countries wouldn't go along with it, they would finance revolutions within or finance their neighbors to attack them. This is all declassified. The Milner papers from Lord Milner in 1914, the list goes on and on. They said, we will institute World War I and World War II. This is over 100 years ago as a pretext to make the public say, we don't want any more war. We want a global private corporate government through the League of Nations and the United Nations to end all war. But in truth, they actually hand out the weapon systems and the technological systems so that actually more wars get started. And that, of course, has come out in the public record. By the 60s, they came up with the environmental plan to carry out eugenics. 
and to tell the public the world was overpopulated and that resources had to be cut off to the planet to save the planet. And Maury Strong at the U.N., David Rockefeller and others wrote books and gave statements and gave speeches at the U.N. And the U.N. wrote up battle plans to forcibly reduce world population by cutting off the resources and going in and paying off the government's leaders to engage in forced sterilization. 500,000 plus women were sterilized. 34 states passed laws for forced sterilization. That really happened environmentally by the turn of the last century, but, it, but they relaunched it in the 60s. Hitler embarrassed them by having a brand of eugenics that was a little fast moving for them and also only targeted certain groups. So they then began to call themselves environmentalists, transhumanists. The Eugenics Quarterly changed its name uh, to an environmental study group. They became crypto-eugenicists. 